good afternoon, I think it is. Um, we are back out in our garden. We actually have been really busy, so we've, I'm gonna show it later, but we were working on our bathroom and finishing that up. Um, today, though, is an all outdoors day. It's actually Memorial Day. Um, it's our youngest boy's birthday. And so we are having a little get together for the grandparents tonight at our house. And we're just gonna do like hot dogs over the fire and stuff. Well, this fire pit was a super small one and we didn't even know it, but there was a giant cement ring. So we actually dug that out. We removed the old small little um, fire thing, which it's back here. It's a little metal ring. Um, we removed that, we dug it down, we put bricks and everything down there and we built this bigger so it looked nicer too. Um, so it's not overgrown and everything. And then this morning, I also took a whole bunch of wood we found because again, we are trying to do things with as little money as possible. So everything we did over there was stuff we found around different other areas in our around the house. So we didn't spend any money to f make that fire pit look nicer. Around our strawberry bed here, we, our dogs, have a tendency to run in there so a lot of our strawberries are actually struggling quite a bit so we found some wood in the back that has been like waterlogged just kind of sitting underneath a tarp a lot of water got into it and um we pulled it out and we let it dry for a while and we cut them into smaller pieces and the kids are actually laid it all out to make sure we had enough pieces um we cut it all the way down and those are gonna get dug in and build like a little fence because both of our dogs are, one of our dogs is a three-legged dog. And so she won't jump over it no matter how high it is. Our other dog is, to be honest, the biggest scaredy cat in the entire world. And so he definitely won't even step over it because he's a scaredy cat. Um, so that is what we are gonna be working on now. And then later this afternoon is when the family comes over for the birthday party. So we got a lot going on, we are busy, and I'm gonna take you along on this journey. Unfortunately, we got started a little, I started filming a little later than I anticipated, but I wasn't expecting to kind of get started and forget. <laughs> it was one of those kinds of days. So we are gonna get started on this, and we're gonna get moving, and hopefully I'll have time to start getting compost in our garden to start feeding our garden some more.
didn't get a chance to finish showing you everything that I managed to get done today because we had family come over for our youngest boy's birthday, like I said earlier. But the fire pit, I might have mentioned this one, the fire pit is now completely done. And our strawberry patch. We got all of the wood done. Now here, right in this area, we didn't put any wood because we're actually extending the garden across the front of it as well. So that is next, but I got all those dug in and cleaned up. So now the next step is going to be planting and getting more in the garden here. Oh, my boyfriend put down weed cloth. Um, we are putting it down as a way to kind of deter weeds from coming up, but also we are going to be laying like pea gravel and stuff like that as well. But we got that laid as well. And the garden over here, we're going to be filling in slowly as we go. But it's getting there. Each day we get a little bit further and that's all we can ask for. So I hope you all have a great day. I am going to get some cardboard that blew away that I haven't gotten a chance to cover. Get this put back where it belongs. And hopefully get the... Uh, the garden done soon. So I will see you guys later. Here we are planting peppers. Um, sadly, I don't think any of these made it. They just never produced anything and weeds took over and kind of killed them all and pushed them out of the way. But we still attempted and we are going to keep trying as one, I absolutely love peppers, and two, our family has been getting into a lot more dishes with peppers and a little spicier items. So those you will not see, unfortunately, in our harvest. saw probably a week ago about the tulip dig. This is the afternoon of that day and we are building a pollinator garden because we have this small gap that's probably two and a half maybe three feet wide so not very big and so it isn't worth it to have grass here so we're building a pollinator garden. So how we did that is we actually took, we didn't film it unfortunately because we did this a while ago, we took a very um, a weed whacker and weed whacked all of the grass and all of the weeds down super super low then we did a covering of cardboard and um, brown paper and laid that down to cover up the weeds as a weed barrier got it soaking wet to start composting then we put a layer of um, compost down a thick layer of compost slash mulch down the kids on the back half over there have already seeded and we put a layer of dirt over top of those seeds. And then up here, we still haven't seeded, but I just got the compost done. Um, so the kids are about to come out, do the seeds, and then put a layer of dirt on top of it. And then I will put a layer of dirt on top of it either today or tomorrow, depending on timing. So that too. <laughs> so 
we are going to get that started now. I'm going to run inside and grab all the seeds that we're going to plant. We are about to plant some potato starts. Can you grab one? The, some potato seedlings. We already cut these up and everything because we didn't, we didn't think our experiment had worked yesterday. Oh, there's one right there too. We did not think the experiment that we started last fall what worked because we didn't see any sort of growth whatsoever on our potatoes. Today, oh, it just fell. Today, just came out here and we were going to plant it and then she's like, oh, oh, we're not going to plant it because we it's have all potato plants. She was in the middle of it explaining about the, oh, the lettuce. Those are the ones that are growing. Yeah. So, we need to find a new place for these potato plants that we wanted to plant, yeah. that we got. So, Wait, can so I now, I think we're going to figure that out. Um, and wait, mommy, can I say something? Hold on, Taylor. This isn't your channel, this is ours. Good job, come here. So now I think we might plant some in our onion bed right here. We, do, we have a section here that's empty, so I think we'll plant there. And I don't know where we'll plant the rest. Maybe we'll plant some along the chicken tunnel along over there. It's going to no, cut our no, walking no. path short, but we can still do it. We'll but make what, it work. What if the chickens eat it? They can eat some of the leaves, but it's not going to kill the plants. They can't but, get their head through that fence too far. Nope. Or and, but quick question. Where should we put them? Should we put them in this garden? That garden? Well, Taylor, I think we decided. Um, the little fork one. But um, I think we're going to put have the kids plant them in the onion bed, and we're going to plant them along this fence, too. So yep, probably. that's what I think we're going to do. So mm -hmm. we're going to get started. So we... It has been about a week, actually, because, to be honest, don't mind my kids screaming in the backyard. They're actually, for the first time, playing in sprinklers all year. Um, but it's the first day in over a week that we've had that was decent and not rainy or completely bug-ridden. So on the days that I could come out really quick, I only had a couple minutes, so I planted all the way around the peppers that we um had and then in this garden bed I'm gonna I have tomatoes planted as well and I have some more peppers that need to get planted plus some marigolds that are looking kind of sad so we're gonna get them planted as well so we're gonna do that today um like I said it's been about a week since we saw you guys last um after that I am going to open this up and I'm going to weed this bed because I do have carrots in there so when we get to that I will show you guys that as well um, but everything else in the garden is looking good. Our corn back here in this bed right here that we've planted, though that is starting to come up. And then in about another week, we're going to plant corn back here as well. Then once these are about, I want to say about a foot, foot and a half tall, we'll get some peas started. But I still need to get some more, um, like some sort of a cover for our corn because we have animals that tend to steal it as seeds and then also when it starts to grow so we got to get something that'll help kind of deter them from taking it so that's what we got to get I did forget to mention is on all of the tomatoes that I had planted around this edge I did trim up the leaves a little bit because um, as soon as I get these planted I'm gonna come through and actually plant a whole bunch of compost um, something to help get some more acidity into our soil because our soil is super super alkaline and plants do not like that so we're trying to get more acidity into it um, and then just like with the tomatoes in each of the pepper holes I'm gonna add some calcium so these are just dried eggshells I leave the membrane on and um, everything because that adds even more nutrients and then also blood meal which we're probably gonna have to get more of that because this yard this garden desperately desperately needs a lot of nitrogen so we're gonna get started and 
I am just constantly, any chance I get, I come out here and I turn the soil a little bit because I found that that helps kind of deter the weeds from growing. Um, now one plant in here that you guys might see quite a bit of and a lot of people consider a weed is violets because I, one, I love violets and two, they are super beneficial in regards to like medicinal purposes and all that. So highly recommend if you have violets, let them grow. Plus, they're just pretty. So I am proud to say we did manage to get all of our sweet corn in here. Um, the kids came through and mulched all around these plants on the outside edge with grass clippings to add a, hopefully a more nitrogen into the soil. Um, I still have to weed here but our corn coming up here is coming up beautifully. Um, I got a weed still but then in a couple weeks when it's a little bit taller We'll plant some peas and then a couple weeks after that we'll plant some of our winter squash like pumpkins and other things like that all of this I haven't got a chance to put um, grass around yet but I did put some fertilizer to help get some more nitrogen and stuff into the soil but our tomatoes here and peppers and everything are doing beautifully under here I checked all of our plants and I did some weeding um, really quick this has our Brussels sprouts broccoli cauliflower all of that but I also have a whole bunch of carrots planted there as soon as more of the potatoes come up over here, I'm going to plant lettuce in between those just to kind of help fill in. And then garlic, we don't even have to worry about. is just doing its thing. In between all the onions here. Now this is all just, I'm just doing what I feel like doing. We have a whole bunch of carrots here. Now I have some flowers. I have nasturtiums and morning glories. And our strawberry patch is doing wonderfully, but we want to get something that's going to kind of climb up. So the morning glories will are climber. So we're going to put those around the chicken coop area so that they can hopefully get some shade with some beautiful flowers that they can kind of peck at if they want to. So that's what we're going to do right now.
forget to like and subscribe so you can keep up to date on what is happening at ZB Farms. Thank you.